Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another episode of the comic book Illuminati. Now, this is episode four, and you're wondering, like, why are we starting on episode four, Caboose? Well, there actually have been three episodes before, but they were on everyone else's channel. So if you go to JR's channel, you're going to see, I believe it was episode two. Mm -hmm. If you go to the comic book cast channel, you're going to see episode three. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to Hybrid Network's channel, you'll see episode one. So those links to their channels are going to be on the screen, and the links to the episodes are going to be in the description, so you can go check them out. But with that said, let's introduce all the guests that we have for Comic Book Illuminati Episode 4. What's up, guys? Hello. 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 We got to say, like, <laughs> hello. Hello, my hello, baby. Hello, there, hello my boy. Honey. Hello. hello. So for two episodes in a row now, we're missing our mean. Mm-hmm. He's stuck he's, in the he's ultimate, in the ultimate universe. universe man. Man. He's, <laughs> he's floating he, around in the ultimate universe. So like the, the Namor that he on. is, he's not dead. He's just stranded. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. fucking with ultimate universe of me. Nah. The ultimate. I just. Reed. <laughs> I find that really ironic, though. Like it seems aligned with you know when he quote unquote died. That's when Armin disappeared, and now he's still gone. <laughs> so well, maybe he's doing this on purpose. Back, like next month. Miles Morales for Spider-Man. Let's go. Hashtag it. Yeah, all right. You, all you right. can't so hashtag it. It's already Obviously, hashtag. Wants us to talk about it. So, as you all know, guys, Ryan Reynolds has posted a picture of a Deadpool mask. Oh, I know it's the biggest this week. So we've we've we we got to talk about it. You know, this, mm -hmm. this is the biggest news we've had all week. So I think it looks <laughs> like bad. a mask, <laughs> and I think masks are good. No offense, but what else did anyone expect? Like, the Deadpool mask hasn't changed. Well, I yeah, think everyone was exactly expecting, like, like, Ryan Reynolds is, he has so much star power that they were expecting, like, some way for them to incorporate Ryan Reynolds' face as well as the Deadpool mask. All right, so I don't, want, I don't want to offend Ryan Reynolds here, but I think more people care about Deadpool than Ryan Reynolds. I, I think yeah. Deadpool, or Deadpool, I think Ryan Reynolds cares more about Deadpool See, than he does about himself at this point. Caboose so. was expecting the honeypot. Like, he was expecting that they were showing us the Deadpool <laughs> teaser that looked so much like Deadpool. There you and go. then, you know, so they were honey-dicking us, and then yeah, they were actually just going to show the origins Deadpool again. I, I'm well, you know what? that honey dicking Fox? has stuck around from the interview. I, I hope that that phrase outlives the actual relevance of that movie. <laughs> Just honey dicking I use it so much. <laughs> it's kind of but, perfect. Um, but to, to be honest, uh, the way they're going with the costume, if, if, like, if that's the basis that they're going off, this will be the most comic book accurate costume that Fox has ever done. Mm. Which you is know, shocking. Not it's black crazy. Leather. So, well... The way I think of it, maybe Ryan, like you know, Ryan's gonna go the same route that Carl Urban did with Dread. Like you didn't see his face at all, so yeah, who knows? And, and if he goes that route, hell, more power to him, man. He has so yeah. much passion for Deadpool, and yeah. it's like I have so much faith in it just because of that. You know, but there's I like, think I want to prove that I don't suck as a superhero. Yeah, but I'm sure Even we're gonna get a tease of his face. Times. I'm sure. We're yeah, gonna, no, no, no. We're I'm gonna sure get like a like you know he's gonna probably take off the mask and it'll be his like burnt and ugly, disgusting face. That's the thing, but. But he has dead, cancer. Burnt and ugly, disgusting. Face. That's why I think they're gonna leave the mask on because they'd have to make Ryan Reynolds like fucking ugly, ugly and I think that's gonna make a lot of people go like, "Ugh." <laughs> you only it would make a lot of ugly. That's, that's, that's like, the funny part. What's that's happened right. to Ryan? Has he been in a car accident? Yeah. That's what Joel. What were you saying? I was gonna say you only play ugly in Hollywood when you want to win an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's how they're going to do it. Well. That's that's They're going to show his face ugly, and everybody's like, no, I'll leave your mask on. Like, leave it on. So then that's that's how they're going to use the whole you know thing where he has to have his mask yeah. on the whole time. Right. Now, like, one of the questions I've had, though, about this movie as a whole is, like, if it's going to do the, the breaking the fourth wall thing, that's and true. they want him to be a part of the X-Men universe, what are they going to do with that, you know? Hmm. Uh, you have them literally come out and say where it's like, man, you know, those X-Men sure are great, but they're not as good as the Avengers. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp <laughs> See, oh my god. C he can imagine do that too, can the same way Zoople. Sony has made their deal with Marvel. I mean, that's like little news. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> the same way they've made their deal, what if like Fox made some sort of mini deal where they're like, hey, can we just kind of mention your movies? Like, we don't have to be connected in any way, but can we just have Deadpool say like, remember Iron Man and Hulk and Captain America, well, I'm better than all of them. Like, well, you know, as Armin was telling me, they might have to actually play ball for the TV shows. I don't quite understand the ins and outs of the copyright for that one, but apparently uh, there's some sort of deal that actually brings the studios closer than you would think. So maybe they'll have yeah. to talk hmm. uh, terms eventually. Yeah, and, and especially they had Hugh Jackman, his reaction to that, <clears throat> that you know, really irrelevant news of Spider-Man being back at Marvel uh, or whatever. Hugh Jackman's <laughs> up for anything because... 
he he understands. He's like, without my fans, without yeah, this excitement, so I'm nothing. Yeah. You did, um, in the photo, right, he mentions two things that kind of – kind of got me like thinking okay first is a prototype that means he's you know he's telling people like this is a prototype of the yeah the whole thing another one he mentions in like um what is that color he, it starts with an s it's like a pink color scarlet no sepia sepia tone is that, well, that that's more like yellow sepia tone yeah is it i thought it was pink it's like the old-timey civil war pictures yeah exactly that's that's the, yeah. Sepia tone. the brownish oh okay so it's like it... sexy grayscale mm. <laughs> Well, you so see, I if you're Sony Vegas, you can make your video sepia tone if you're like me and have shitty lighting in your condo to cover up that fact. <laughs> I just hope, like, it's going to be very, like, heavily comedy-wise, because that's what, like, Deadpool is all about. And I oh, hope he gets, sure. like, multiple, like, costumes, like him in a tutu, like, in a video game, nice. just, like, him joking around. And I'm really interested of, like, what other characters are going to appear on that. You know what I mean? I'm sure yeah. Hugh Jackman's going to get in it. Like, it's Hugh fucking Jackman. He's going to yeah, be in it. yeah. I mean, in the original script, in in the original (laughs) script, I don't know if you guys, any of you heard, but like that, that test footage that we saw, Mm -hmm. you know, where he's like with the flipping cars and friggin' cutting off the dude's head and everything. Mm -hmm. Right after that test footage ends, like Colossus comes in. Yeah, that was the, that was, if I remember correctly, that was, because I remember what you're talking about when the script leaks. That was two or three years ago now. Um, Yeah. I remember that was the opening sequence, Mm -hmm. I believe. So that led up to the title. And, uh, and you could do anything with Colossus. So Colossus wait, why did Colossus come out? Those other movies. I, I don't know. It was literally, it's the most random team up ever, but Colossus uh, and Deadpool just team up throughout the movie, and it's cool. I would see Cable. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. You know why Colossus? Actually, because yeah. Colossus is popular. He's been in the other movies, but he didn't do anything in those other movies. Yeah. You, hold on. Wild theory, speculation, No, nothing to back this up. Nope. But going off what Jay just said, imagine the post credit scene for the Deadpool movie is Cable... Grabbing Deadpool and bringing him into the X Men universe. Oh, there you go. That's huh. how you do it. You, you yeah. do it like and, and then you just the then then just the blood. tides turn. He's no longer like break the fourth wall. Deadpool. He's like, all right, we need to get shit done. You know. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I'm I'm down for that. I, I, I'm funny really excited. If, uh, Death appeared, and oh, like God, he made yeah. Thanos jokes. Oh my God. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Actually. What a death. And Deadpool just like, did it. He's like, you no. want the Infinity Gems, but I have the Infinity Love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, didn't Death and Deadpool do it oh, in the yeah. comics? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, numerous it's... times. Oh, mm. man. Mm. Yeah. Deadpool has, like, the biggest boner for death. Oh, and man. Death. Oh, oops. I said Finest boner. Lady My bad. Skeleton. That death boner. PG-13, guys. Yeah. As okay. far as lady skeletons go, I think Death of the Marvel Universe is the prettiest lady skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. She's the piece of the Lady Skeleton world. There you go. Now, do you think, like, since, you know, because we're having a Deadpool, we're also getting a Gambit movie. Like, you know, we could talk a little bit about that. Do you think, like, we have a separate Gambit, and then we have Deadpool, and then we have the X-Men universe, and then we have Fantastic Four. Yes. Does does Fox know what they're doing, or they just, you know? To be honest, I think they have some sort of big plan. What ready. if, like, epoch, like Apocalypse is like the whole start of everything? Like, it's just. I think so. I think I don't think Apocalypse is their grand finale. I don't think it's. No. You go. Oh, they can use uh, what's his name up? Don't, what's, uh, uh, the guy that eats planets. Um, I'm Galactus. Galactus. Yes. Galactus. What if he's like going to be the main villain? Oh, can you imagine the X Men? Imagine X Men, Fantastic Four. Oh, everybody just interesting. Yeah, I, I never thought of them dipping into four villains because basically it is the deal where it's like, well, once you do Apocalypse, he's basically the biggest big bad the X Men have to fight. That is, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, so what are you going to do? Arcade the next week? Oh yeah, after fighting Apocalypse Arcade, that guy's so scary. <laughs> Mm, arcade is awesome slaps. though if, if i wrote an x-men movie i'd have them fight arcade <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's the one thing is they've got to do they just they have to do oh apocalypse my God. right you have no, to just, do him you have to do him justice right i mean but you know i think with yeah. oscar isaac in the role he's so passionate about the character and he oh, loves yeah. comics so i'm just with with him Running that role, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, they could do it justice. You know, I just thought about, and I'll make a video on it later, but what if, <laughs> d- dare I say it, because if Fox hears this, they will do it. I know they will. <laughs> um, so going on, let's say Galactus, right? Let's say that's what they use to bring the Fantastic Four and X-Men together for like yeah. their team-up movie, whatever have you. Since they're supposed to have a shared universe, I think that's still Supposed what was the Allegedly. Plan. Yeah. Um, allegedly, yeah, that's a key word. Allegedly. 
Um, Michael Jackson's favorite word, but rest in peace. Man, so <laughs> fucked up. Um, what if they they uh, use the Phoenix use Phoenix right the whole Phoenix thing, uh-huh. and instead of going Phoenix Force, they're like they use the whole like Galactus Herald thing, and they just turn Jean Grey into the Herald of Galactus, and they make that her was- like like that's how she becomes like quote unquote Phoenix. Is this so your, she's your still take like on cosmically? The- now, see, what I'm thinking, though, thing. about the connection between Fantastic Well, like, Four they need X-Men. something to connect it. Like, Fantastic Four, like, Fantastic Four, that one's easier to do. But for to bring the X-Men into it, they would need something to happen where it's, like, one of their members is involved in some way, shape, or form. And that, yeah. I could see that happening. So, so like, what you're see, saying like, is, do, do Avengers versus X-Men only, it's event, or it's X-Men versus Fantastic Four, only not shit, and with uh, being the Herald <laughs> of Galactus instead of the Phoenix Force. <laughs> yeah, because that could work. Like, I mean, and... If they're not going to do the Phoenix Force like in the comics, you know, like it's still cosmically based mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and still connected to Jean Grey and so Galactus has had another fiery herald I like before. Yeah. So, so are they going to bring back that chick or are they going to use that young chick from Game, uh, Game of Thrones? They'll probably they'll use probably younger. Use she'll be Thrones. older by the time. You know, they start them young nowadays, Jay. It's true. Oh, oh, oh sorry. 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 I didn't know that. This is Hollywood, Jay. And let's not forget, too, I mean, you know, to fuse or to bridge the gap between those two series isn't really as hard when you stop and consider how many alien groups, uh, like famous, well known Marvel alien groups, got, you know, yeah. walked into the I'm X-Men sure. Catalog. I'm sure they'll find, like, one way yeah. or another. Yeah. One way or another, they'll find a way to connect those two because fan- the, I think one of the, the brilliant things that Fantastic Four is doing with the reboot is that they're not fighting for New York. They're not fighting to save the Earth. They're in the negative zone. Mm. You know, they, they are not on Earth. That's why if the if the <laughs> X-Men universe and the Fantastic Four universe were to be connected, that's why the X-Men didn't show up, you know? Right. Uh, so I think that, that would, that's a, a good move. Plus, you, uh, you just made me jizz for a second because I <laughs> thought about the, the, the possibility of, like, that whole alternate universe, like, as a basis for a lot of the stuff. Thing. What if they just, like, they hit that in the nail. Like, they let the movie stay separate. But they could totally just hit the, oh, it's an alternate universe, then that the Fantastic Four went through another ultimate universe. Right. Exactly. Where the X-Men are, and then they go back to their own alternate universe. So, like, the stories can still be contained, but then they can still have the bridge between the two. Yeah. See, I, was, uh, would, uh, I would be pissed if that happened. See, you would be I think That would work so well. Where okay, look, Fox sends I would be me pissed. Email and they're like, hey, how would you like to work for us? So, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm quitting YouTube. Got No, I'm kidding. Um, I would be pissed because... DC would need to do that too, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh, they're gonna be copying." Because like, what if they do that for other movies? Like, supposedly, like, like Shazam is in the same universe, but he's not quite. Like, you know, well, that's he's the... gonna like stay to himself. Like, the, well, the... no, I think I think the thing with Shazam is he's in the universe. It's just I think The Rock was kind of like it's not gonna be like any of the, of the other movies. I think so that's what he's kind of trying to it's say. It's gonna be like yeah. the Shazam like origin story in the New Fifty Two, where it's like it's a part of the New Fifty Two universe, but. It felt like it's totally own story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know what? I'm glad that The Rock did finally sit down and he was like, yes, Shazam is connected. At one point or another, you're going to see Black Adam going up against Superman. Well, can I call a horseshit Batman. on that? Because uh, the DC panel thing up front, even though they already announced that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was going to be you know, Black Adam and all stuff, and the Shazam movie was happening, that was not in their slate at all. Hmm. Yeah. Like, what, the Shazam movie was not in their slate? No, no, not at all. They they left it out. Like Cyborg was in there. Are you Narcan sure? Yeah, I swear I saw the same. I don't know. You mean the shareholders meeting? Yeah, yeah like when Josh, they the, when they announced the sh- all their movies for no, the No, Shazam shareholders. was in there. Yeah, yeah Shazam. I, I swear Shazam. Was it in wasn't there. listed when the when the picture came out of all like that they had at their meeting. I promise you, it's up there. <laughs> well, then maybe somebody look it up right now. We need now. a fact checker. We need a fact checker. Somebody, somebody, let us know right now. Okay, okay. Let's talk about Spider Man. Yeah, before, I think yeah, that's, I think I that's say, the big one everyone Before everyone gets wants. really nervous and annoyed, we're going to talk about Spider-Man we're now. We're going to talk about it. We're going to so, talk about the webhead. And Scarlett Johansson's I, I want to direct it to any any one of you guys who knows exactly what the deal is and what's happening. It's basically uh, it's basically like a joint parent thing is what it yes. is. Like, like you get Spidey on weekends and his birthday. So, yeah, I believe pretty, I said that exact same thing in the group, Joel. It's <laughs> pretty much saying, like, we don't know what to do with the character. You can borrow him, All right. but it's still ours. Just can I break you... it down specifically, okay. like the exact yeah. specifics? Go right ahead. Go break it down. All right. So 
it's Sony still, I believe, is financing. Um, well, I think it's, I'm not sure how the financing goes, so don't quote me on that, but Sony is essentially still distributing and producing and everything, and they still maintain final creative control. However, yeah, the deal allows Marvel, cut. yeah, they get final cut. The deal allows Marvel to have, you know, Spidey in one MCU movie, which I think has been confirmed, or it's at least circulating that it's going to be Civil War. It's got to be. Because that's the only thing that makes it, sense. Yeah, it's not going to be Doctor Strange, right? And then Spidey will get his own, The they're, they're rebooting Spider-Man. He'll get his own new ty- uh, his own new movie starting July 28th, 2017, I believe. They already have a date, um, which is crazy. Yes, mm-hmm. and so it's the revenue split is seventy thirty Sony. Uh, so Sony's getting making out like a bandit there. Um, you know the what other I heard specifics, though? I heard though that just real that quick, can I? Neither can I, would get money for it in the end. Like like Sony would get their profit for their own Spider Man movie, and Marvel gets their own profit for using Spider Man in one of their movies. See, that might be it. I heard it was seventy thirty, but I mean the big thing, the other stipulation is once again, I think all the money is just you know f- fluff, but. Um, the other big thing, the other big stipulation is Kevin uh, Feige is going to executive produce the new Spider-Man series. Which is big. Uh-huh. Which is big. Which, Which is, is very great. For free. And, but, and you know, like a lot of people online are like, oh, this is not that great because this means Sony still has control. And it's like, no, no, no. Sony wants to have the pride in saying they have yeah. control. Yep. But in the end of the day, they're going to have all their guys working on that movie go up to uh, Kevin Feige and be like, so should we do this or no? And then if Kevin Feige says no and drops the hammer down, they're going to be like, okay, do what you got to do. You know, I think do the, the Kevin Feige magic. See, my response to anyone that's like, oh, you know, it's bullshit. Marvel doesn't actually have him back, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, look, you look at everything that Kevin Feige has done. Mm-hmm. Why would Marvel accept a deal? Because if it's like, okay, yes, let's say that none of this works out. Like, why would they accept a deal for Spider-Man to only be in one MCU movie? Yeah, exactly. Like, why would they do that? Like, unless they're trying to do it later. But I mean, it's also worth noting that July twenty eighth, twenty seventeen date. That's a Marvel date. Marvel yeah, that's, moved that's their the picture out of that. Date. Which is crazy. So it is. I think, like Joel said, the perfect example is joint custody. It's joint yeah. custody. And which is good inevitably, they were like, that what, what, what so, done here <laughs> so what you're saying is the abuse of father still has a kid. But it's it, but <laughs> no, no, no. on the weekends it goes with the mother. <laughs> no, 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 no. The mother, you can't the win mother, every battle, man. <laughs> no, no, no. The mother, More or less, the foster parents have returned the child to his <laughs> bio- biological parents. There you go. The mother, the mother got custody. She won the divorce. She got like like most of everything, but you know the father still playing like paying alimony, but the father still gets visitation rights. There so, you yeah. go. Okay, so. I want to get this out because I, I'm trying not to rant like Caboose on, on the episode we did about <laughs> Ant-Man. But I want to clarify people that Andrew Garfield, not, not how, I don't even care if you made a, a campaign, a Kickstarter. Andrew Garfield is gone. He's not coming yeah, back. He's gone. That's it. They're done. Do, I don't think he'd want to come back even if they asked him. But don't feel bad for him because he's still going to get paid. Because to do this deal that they did, they probably ended up voiding a bunch of his yep. contracts, which means he's yep. going to get paid. Oh, absolutely. Was, oh, they, okay. he's, he's swimming in it. There's no way Andrew Garfield went out of that without going social network, I'm taking all of it. <laughs> style like he, plus he's still he dating Emma Stone so there you go he's yeah, a real winner he, he's st- he, yeah, he's still winning there and you know I'm actually kind of sad they're making a movie I was hoping they'd do like a Netflix show or something like yeah, that yeah, that's not a question. I think at the end of the day they want to make a movie because they know it's going to a ton of money you know but, when people see the little the Marvel Studios logo Come in front of a Spider-Man movie, people are gonna go nuts. Tickets are gonna sell like crazy, and especially since he's appearing in a Marvel movie beforehand. Oh, that's why Kevin Feige is is a damn genius. He knows what he's doing. Yep. Okay. Kind of sad. Second, Miles Morales is not gonna be the Spider-Man they pick. No, not yet. They they, they already mentioned that it's gonna be Peter Parker. Like they said, we have. What did they say exactly? I don't know the words, but it said me- they mentioned Peter Parker. Like, yeah, the, they, the route. they specifically mentioned that they're reinventing and Peter I'm, Parker. I'm not hey, saying I don't want to see him. Time, I want to see Miles, but maybe for like maybe it can happen in the first Spider-Man movie. Like what, like you know, like a mention or like a tease near, near the end. Like you know, you see Miles just watching Spider-Man swing off. It's like it's like this. It's like, would you want to have the the young Avengers mm-hmm. be in all of Avengers: Infinity War, or would you want to see the original Avengers? You know. 
you're gonna want to see Peter Parker with Iron Man. Everybody for the first time. Spider-Man, yeah. You know, it just like, makes sense. Hey, Miles Morales is an awesome character. Yeah. Freaking love the comics that they did with that. But that's something you can save for much later down the line. Like, oh, let's yeah. say they. Uh, I remember hearing this. I I don't remember where I heard it, but I heard somewhere where they said, "What if they did Peter Parker? Uh, they they hire an actor for Peter Parker, and he has a three yeah, movie Brian. contract deal, right? Mm-hmm. He has a three movie contract." And then by the time that's over, they're like, all right, let's get a new actor and do Miles Morales. You know? You know, yeah, I, can, I can see it, it right now. Uh, what is it? Bucky is right Cap really do. and Miles as Spider-Man for the second generation of Avengers. Yeah, now, that would be awesome. Now, yeah, like, it just wouldn't be right to do Miles, like, straight out the get-go without Peter. Yeah, like, yeah. Not not because you have to pass the torch, but it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be right to, like, see, just you gotta disrespect, the you know. See, like, like, some characters uh, work like that, you know, like, with... John Stewart and Hal Jordan. You can start off with John Stewart and then tell Captain Marvel too. Like you know, like yeah, you could just do stuff like that. But Peter Parker, Spider Man, you have to introduce that very for the first time. You can't do Miles, especially because he's just a brand new character. He's still kind of brand new in a way. Not he's that still many people. Oh, yeah. stories under his belt. Oh yeah, definitely. And I mean, it's gonna be the very first time him. you know we get to see with him in the cinematic universe. So you definitely gotta put Peter. It makes no sense. Yeah, like, like honestly, yeah. a lot of people are gonna be. Oh, you go ahead, Joel. I was going to say, but again, too, it's like, you know, hey, for those who really want Miles, keep that hope in your heart because I think Marvel understands and knows how popular and how beloved that character is already. So don't yeah. be surprised if a couple years down the line they work him into something. Don't be surprised if they do the little kid story where Spider-Man is helping a kid from bullies there and he know. actually is yeah. Miles Morales. Actually is this time. Yeah, like, yeah. honestly, <laughs> the thing with Miles, I, a lot of people are going to be pissed off at me, which I don't, I don't care internet yeah hello. um but they're gonna you know like honestly miles morales is nothing without peter parker absolutely like yeah. his oh, whole his right whole essence like internet the legacy hate. factor right. the like most of wh- who he is as spider-man comes off of peter parker and that's to be expected as a legacy just like mm-hmm. a lot of what wally west did at first as the flash came from barry allen even though wally west technically did everything you think of now when you think about the flash yeah. just yeah. like tim drake basically did a lot of what you think of as robin it's just because they were that for so long but he brings um, his own stuff to the table too and yeah hey, but, how, how cool would it be to see peter parker passing on the torch you know like him yeah. having like the actual true death that he has in the ultimates oh, i just can't I'd wait like dude to, so not, excited i would like them for him to like not die as much as just you know retire and have and retires yeah yeah because mm. i feel like that'd be more probate because you like, but, it looks, sorry, go ahead. Bill Buggy's gonna take over. Um, and I just, I hope they don't just do this culture of killing and then replacement. Like, it, it'd feel more, I guess, natural. And I feel like people would accept it better mm-hmm. if Peter Parker himself passed on the mantle. And that's yes. see, what would be hard about that is that what movies, they want to do yeah. with the Spider Man movies, or what it seems that they want to do is that they want to keep him in high school for a while, yeah. you know, which I it, agree with. Because like yeah, they need no, a younger too, perspective but like, this universe. It's like if if they do that, you know, and if he were to ever retire as Spider Man, would he have to be old, or do you think it would just be something really catastrophic that happens to him where he's like, I can't do this anymore? He's Maybe going like, on think, vacation. Well, <laughs> dare, I, dare I say, it, I think they're gonna actually age the character as time goes on. Like I feel like the first two movies are definitely gonna be him like high school or something like that, um, and maybe the third one will be him graduating. Or something like that happening, but but see if they were to do that, I feel like they're gonna slowly age him with the movies. Like they're not see, just if, gonna... if they were to do that, wouldn't the MCU be aging as well? Well, the MCU has been aging technically. Yeah. Like they, they, they yeah. especially with Agents of Shield, like, they kind of have to keep in real time now. Mm-hmm. So to, to some degree. <clears throat> so let me ask you a question, uh, CJ. Yes. They haven't announced like certain characters, you know, for certain roles that they have rights to, like you know, Ghost Rider, Punisher, right? So, what, yep. you know, Punisher plays a big part with Spider-Man universe. Do you think that would be cool? All the time. Yeah, do you, like, and that's another thing I want to talk about. Like, since Daredevil is happening on Netflix, I don't think, I, I don't think they're going to mention Spider-Man because they already, I think they already finished a couple episodes. Yeah, no, but, they, they've already they, finished They could one. post-production him in. They could maybe put a sign for the bugle when uh, yeah, yeah, Daredevil's yeah. out. Something like that, that. yeah, like a little but, Easter eggs. How cool would it be if, like, you got to see Punisher in, like, the Spider-Man movie? Like, not as, oh, yeah. like, kind of like the, like the way they did with Black Widow in Iron Man, uh, Iron Man Ooh. 2, kind of like that. You know, just mm-hmm. come in and be cool. Just, 
and then you have two two characters that you already introduced right there. Boom, Especially and then now he... because Punisher got his start in a Spider-Man story. How yeah. cool would that yep. be if he gets there. his that new movie very, start very in cool. a Spider-Man movie? <laughs> that would actually surprisingly, I feel like it would work really well if they had like the Shield, like as if Shield was still as big as it was. I could see Punisher being like in the MCU like a Shield agent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more so but... than anything and then, else. And then, kinda... well, no, like the only reason I say like he could be like more of a rogue shield agent. But the only reason I say that is because with all the tech and everything he has, from what we've seen of Shield, Shield will have taken him down years ago. Uh, yeah, I'll admit yeah. I'm weird because I'm very much married to the Max messed up Vietnam vet version of Frank Castle. And back I know in they're Nam. never gonna, yeah, back in Nam, and they're never gonna do that for a <laughs> Actually, movie. Actually, I would love it. Actually, like, all right, let's say they do a phase two for Netflix things. Mm-hmm. If they did like a Punisher that was actually like a veteran from Vietnam, so it's more like a period piece kind of, mm-hmm. in the vein of like Captain America, I think that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Because well, you, the thing you is, can't that... like the problem with the MCU, not the problem with the MCU, but the problem that they're probably gonna face eventually is that you just can't like, like they're you're gonna get overly crowded eventually. Yeah, you just keep adding, 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 and this would be like doing something like this, like having like Punisher veteran from Vietnam, like takes place like a few decades ago, like that would allow yeah, you to yeah, have yeah, those hard. characters. But not have them all like just super just smashing together at one time. But it's I kind of okay. Look at Peggy too. Carter. Peggy Carter is a really well received show. Yeah, I and think Netflix like, is the way to do it. That's the yeah. No, the Netflix. The the whole thing they're doing with Netflix is kind of genius, really. Um, it, they they feel so separated from the Marvel universe. Let that be but the when you watch those shows, I guarantee up, you're going to so. get a little thing where it's like there's a news broadcast and they're talking about Iron Man. You know, mm-hmm. like. There's gonna be those little hints in there, so those those TV shows are brilliant. Ghost, and... Ghost Rider should be in Doctor Strange. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I would actually really like it if they mentioned uh, the demon Zareth. Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, yep. uh, that would be pretty like, cool. Is who bonds with Johnny Storm and they become Ghost Rider? That'd be really cool if they did that. Yeah, so let me. Awesome. Here's the question I want to know: Do you think Spider-Man would be in Infinity War? Well, supposedly, oh, yeah. I think it's a guarantee. Do you think he's going to be part of the new Avengers? Like, because supposedly people are saying that oh, yeah. after, after this movie, th- this Avenger, they're gone. They're they're not coming back for a while. And yeah, you like, know, I heard that too. Because they're saying that they're they. Um, so the first Infinity War, that's the new Avengers: Doctor Strange, Ant Man. Supposedly, they get their yeah, ass kicked and like, like crazy. Spidey and, yeah. and the Lucky Inhumans, Captain America. And then yeah, they get their ass kicked. And then the second one, where they get you know the old Avenger group to come back, and everybody's just one big old group versus Thanos again. So, See, I think the way it was going to work was Iron Man kind of just fades away because of what happened with Ultron. Mm-hmm. Captain America dies in Civil War, supposedly. And then Bucky takes the place. And yeah. Bucky takes the mantle. Iron Man is gone. Um, Hulk, Thor supposedly is Hulk. Oh, yeah, Hulk, is. apparently, legit, like, they're, they're going to get him launched into space, apparently. Nah, they've been kicking around that theory forever. Yeah, yeah. But the whole idea, the general idea is Avengers Infinity War Part 1 is going to be the new Avengers, mm-hmm. and then part two will bring back the old Avengers, yeah. which would be so good because you shine the spotlight on the new Avengers, you make them relevant, you make everyone uh, be forced to like these characters, really. Yeah. Uh, and then when if, if they get sick of them or if they enjoy them, they're all coming back for part two. I think you the know? thing to remember is that um, you know Stark is going to be in – Civil War, mm-hmm. so yeah, he'll at least be there for that, and then you know maybe he just gets disillusioned after Steve's death, and we'll we'll run off. But Possibly. so, what do you well, go? Did you guys? All right, I don't know if you guys. Um, certain sites, there's this guy that's been going around who says that he knows like Marvel's pitch. Mm-hmm. That like there, this is the initial pitch too. This isn't like what yeah. the newer deal was. Yeah, but supposedly the, the initial pitch to have Marvel um, get Spider-Man back in the MCU was that in Civil War, they'd have Peter Parker. He'd be 16 years old. He'd already have been Spider-Man, so no origin story whatsoever. Yeah. So I don't know how they'd go about that, like if they're going to do like bitten by genetic, altered spider, radioactive spider, whatever have you. But he's already Spider-Man, so that's yeah. whatever. Yeah. He's living with his Aunt May. Already, like He lives with his Aunt May. Uncle Ben's already dead. He mm-hmm. works at the Daily Bugle. He looks up to both Captain America and Iron Man, mostly ca- – like not mostly, but Captain America firsthand – because, you know, obviously he knows the history of Captain America. Like, you know, he was just like, yeah, he he, he connects to the fact that they're both bullied. You know, they're both like, you know, weak, things like that before they became superheroes. Mm-hmm. And then he looks up to obviously Iron Man because, you know, he, you know, science and all that stuff. He's but rich. also the fact that, yeah, he's rich. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
And uh, I guess Steve Rogers um, takes a big liking to Peter, you know, seeing his potential. And uh, he decides to, like, train Peter and kind of take Peter to be his protege. Um, Steve surprisingly actually loves his quips um, and actually even, like, offers him, you know, su- financial support because, you know, his Aunt May has to mortgage, you know, their house and stuff like that. And, you know, turns out he's uh, he's working for the Daily Bugle, too, and Jameson always fucks him over, obviously, because <laughs> Jameson. Um, but Peter refuses. I guess he re- he references his Uncle Ben a bit, saying that like he wants to like, kind of like make it on his own, like his Uncle Ben always taught him. Uh, we get the Iron Spider suit supposedly. Like Tony oh, Stark man. makes that for Peter because just like Damn. Steve kind of takes Peter under his wing, so does Tony. And uh, while Steve believes that you know more training would be better for Peter and like honing his abilities that he has, Iron Man's uh, like more money. Yeah, like well, like Tony's like technology and stuff like that, like more gear, gadgets, stuff like that. So he gives him like the suit. Um, supposedly, Spider-Man would be the like the second fastest hero in the MCU after Quicksilver, and with his really? spider sense, also he'd be basically like untouchable, basically with the spider sense like, and like, his as speed. As in, like he can run super speed, or is not he's just like really like just agile. like he's just really quick. Like you just can't okay. like you won't be able to touch him if you if he doesn't want you to touch him. Now is this because like, of the Iron Spider suit or just him? No, this is because like just like his his natural speed, like proportionate speed of a spider plus the spider wow. sense. Wow. And then um, I guess they'd make a joke about, you know, like Black Widow. She's a redhead. Mary Jane, a redhead. So they'd make like <laughs> a redhead joke. Like Peter's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, something so like seeing the, someone. So th- this is for Civil War, I'm guessing? Yeah. Like this supposedly was like the initial like the initial pitch. Now, like, it so. sounds it sounds almost like and like it could be true because it's the Marvel way. But it it's sounds almost way. like too good to be true, you know? Well, my yep. thing is that I don't sound like it's – to me, it sound doesn't sound like it's that – first off, I got off 4chan. I saw it on 4chan first yeah, and I saw weird. it posted on a bunch of other places. But um, the reason why it doesn't really stick up as like truthful to me is because what about Black Panther? What about the other characters supposedly that are going to be in the movie? Like This just yeah. seems like a Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America show. Honestly, like if he were to appear, like he's going to appear in Civil War. Like, let's just say that's confirmed at this point. They said he's going to appear in a movie before his own solo movie. It's not going to be Avengers two, because uh, that's like friggin' three months away. It's going to be Civil War, right? Yeah. And with that said, be. with that said, I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell that they're just going to flip the script, flip all their their pre production plans, and just make it the Spider-Man centric story. I think they're still yeah, going to go along with the Black Panther story and yeah, then they'll just like they should. They'll either ease in a Spider-Man cameo or they'll do an after credits uh thing with Spider-Man. Like let's you know? be honest here. They got Chadwick Boseman to play Black Panther. Chadwick Not Boseman even that. They made a, a big a deal about. It. They in- sat down, invited a bunch of people to a theater and they were like, "Listen, this is our plan. Do you love it?" And people were like, <laughs> Fuck. "Holy shit." Yeah. Well, yeah, like yeah, they made a big deal of it. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like they had this really high in demand actor. Yeah. That every role he's been in, essentially, there's been buzz about him. You know, like will he get a nomination? You know, he's done a really good job. He always gets praised for his roles. Yeah. I'm sure if they were just toss him aside like that and make him feel basically not valuable and not you know not special, but you know like not valued as you know a member, yeah. I'm sure he would you know feel some type of way about leaving. Just like I'm yeah, sure exactly. if they were to do something similar to Benedict Cumberbatch, like, like I'm fuck sure. Fuck y'all, I'm going to go play Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah like I'm <laughs> sure if Benedict Cumberbatch, like if he was supposed to be in like Civil War in some capacity and they made a big deal about it, and then they were just be, they were just going to be like, hey, we're going to push you aside for Spider Man out of the blue. I'm sure he would leave because, go you know. Dr. Fate. <laughs> yeah, like he has a thousand and one job offers. Like all these people Marvel's get, Marvel has been getting out that are really good actors and everyone's excited for, they're probably, like, I feel like most of the time, Everyone's so excited for them because they know these people could play so many different roles, but they chose exactly. this role. Exactly. Especially like Van Lee Cumberbatch, like he was rumored for a ton of different roles, and mm-hmm. Chadwick Boseman. At the same time, people had him for basically every black superhero possible. Or ever and ever since the beginning of time. <laughs> like ever <laughs> since he, what was the first? 42. I know he forty two. I know he was in a movie before forty two, but I know forty two was like kind of like his big break. 42, but, was, he was great in that. And then uh, I think just on the up. last year, he was in Get On Up. Get On yeah, Up. Yeah, that was we're good actually too. like, listen, the dude should have been nominated for it. He, he was saying, like, it. Fire, like oh, it was a snub, but we were like, he was really good in that. He he could have been nominated. Like, yeah, I don't so. know. I don't think people realize just how hard it is 
to dance like that when you're that yeah. tall. Yeah. <laughs> to do all this, that's a lot of work. He's a talented like actor, that, and and the the it's been in, he's been Black Panther for a long time now because I don't know if you guys remember the rumor came up like almost a year and a half ago, you know, so. It came yeah, a long time there. ago, that's for sure. The talks were there. like Just like with Ben and Cumberbatch, like, the reports were like, oh, they're in talks. But, like, you know, I'm sure these people, like I said, like they're in high demand. So I, I'm pretty sure, like, Spider-Man, they'll, they'll find some sort, sort of cameo for him that will be appropriate yeah. for, like, such a last-minute addition. But they're not going to make it about him whatsoever. Like, Yeah, they, they just can't at this point. It's it's They've, they've had a vision. Uh, they've already scrambled their dates. You know, they pushed... Uh, Black Panther back, and they pushed yeah. Thor 3 back pushed, just like, to put Spider-Man in there. So the they're, they're making him as important as possible right now, but, like, to make him the central character in Civil War and to just say, hey, sorry, Black Panther, uh, better luck next time. Yeah, better luck's next lifetime. Man. That, that would be, like, that would be a little shady. I don't think that they, they're willing to do that. They've, they've built this really rich universe without Spider-Man already, mm -hmm. and people have loved it so far. So they're going to use Spider-Man to a capacity where it just elevates, not him, uh, where it's him. like it's a Spider-Man show, you know? Well, I think they're going to use him in a capacity where they're going to use him to kind of – he's honestly the only young one, so to speak. True. So they're probably going to use him in that like capacity where it's like, you know, I I'm sure they're not going to cram like social – I'm sure they're not going to pull a background in Teen Titans on us where they cram social media in there yeah. every five yeah. seconds. Please. But um, now, you know I'm sure gonna like they're gonna, they're gonna do the stuff head. like. Honestly, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go into a corner now and cry because Joel, I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but but just ah oh, the pain, the pain of reading the new Teen Titans oh, oh, and yeah, Batgirl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, Batgirl's not screw, too bad. Screw they the just, comic books. They have Teen no Titans, balls. The Teen writers Titans have no Ghost balls. Ghost still a thing. Yeah. I I I was so mad when the Batgirl people apologized for having a transgender villain. I'm like, are you serious? Well, you're no, you're it, apologizing? They didn't apologize for it being a transgender villain. They apologized for Batgirl's reaction to the transgender villain. She reacted <laughs> with disgust, even though Batgirl in that story in the run before had a transgender roommate. Like, all right, like <laughs> I, I read it after I heard it, and honestly, who the fuck wouldn't react like that? You have someone that's impersonating a girl, and you find out it's a guy at the last second like that in the situation they were in. I would yeah, be, like, I'd, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, like no, what? No, you know, you know what the I problem knew with that it is? All along. The problem with it is that they were gloating about it previously, is why, and they were kind of caught in a, uh, what is it, social uh, media thing, where they're like, oh, everyone's going to love you. take my prize, I will cut you! Jay's <laughs> uh, 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 Jay's having fry trouble. Yeah! We've all been that, there. Jay, it's like, you don't mess with his fast food. He cut that dude right. over the, the four right. piece right. nuggets. My so brother was true. trying to take my stuff when I was helping him. <laughs> so, to put Jay in the loop, for those of you who are watching right now who didn't know, Jay was, Jay was, uh, yeah. he was away from keyboard. Yeah. I was helping him bring really traumatized. I was helping him bring the groceries, and he's like, "Hey, there's one more bag in the back." I'm like, "I didn't see any." He's like, "Now, for real, can you get it for me? My arm hurts." Come back. He's just munching on my fries, and I'm like, "What?" That's, That's a good scam. So, so Jake, put you back in the loop. What we've talked about so okay. far is uh, Spider-Man's relevance in the Marvel universe, and how he won't be like the main role in Civil War, and that they'll keep it with Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of turned into this this. Uh, this rant about comic books and uh, transgender villains in Titans comics. As it tends so, to happen. How do we end up on that? Yeah, I don't the new, know. The new Power Girl, some horseshit too. Oh, you don't like Tanya Spears? <laughs> Tanya Spears is kind of no. Cool. Like I don't, I don't hate her. Okay, but she's I, bullshit. I think in the she's book. a yeah. She's bullshit. Like her addition in there is just total horseshit. Like they're in she's New York. Oh, Why is it static in this book yet? He's been in New York <laughs> since the beginning of the New Fifty Two. Mm. <laughs> And he's supposed to be good friends with Tim Drake from yeah. Scott Lobdell's run. Yeah, well, uh, but apparently they, they've forgotten all about the Milestone characters. But hey, Milestone might be coming back, though. Is the so right? I Tanya Spears is pretty much about. black. I need Wonder to get Girl. back in the comics. So can we talk about DC? Just uh, you are talking about. about DC. There's DC news? Tanya, yeah. Tanya Spears is basically black Wonder Girl without flight. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I like Tanya Spears fine, but I hate the idea that when she was in that okay. book, she's like, I'm going to tell you how so, to run things. There's a couple of things like, you know, you know, what's becoming like a real popular thing on my channel is a team. Any, anytime I talk about Teen Titans, everybody goes crazy. Like anything. It's just it's a it's a good topic because, you know, people are big fans of Teen Titans since the, car, uh, since the cartoons. Mm -hmm. And then now we have, well, Teen Titans Go 
I used to hate the show, and I'm I'm gonna sit here and say it's not that bad. It's really not like because it's it's, it's, for, it's for little kids. It's not. But for the, me. dude, I can understand I'm not that. even kidding. Like there's times where I laughed at funny parts, like when they had like the whole Robin episode where all the Robins come together. I couldn't stop that laughing. Actually, I'm gonna right, rebuttal yeah. and say that it is that bad. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to fight in real life, so just there you go. Civil War. Life, but my, my, my question is, like, DC owns TV Universe. I don't care anybody says that. Oh, no, they do. No, they they own that shit. You know, they, like, now, after the Netflix shows, we gotta, we gotta be see. a different conversation, maybe. But, you know, if, okay, think about it. Netflix comes out, they're going to have Adam, possibly, you know, possibly Firestorm. Uh, they're going to have Teen Titans show. Like, they're doing, like... Probably what, an Adam show. Yeah, like they're doing what you know the WB movie universe should do. Just like yeah, but you got you got to take in a lot of factors. What if Teen Titans doesn't doesn't get picked up for a season? Mm-hmm. It, uh, it's what strange. if the Adam show just what if that whole the plans drop for that? I, I, I noticed Teen no Titans won't Gotham survive in this conversation either. Like <laughs> it could fall like it could fall really bad. Like the way they did with the Birds of Prey show. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Jay, it. Yeah. Jay, I will I will make a bet with you. Okay. Ten dollar bet that okay, Teen my shirt's Titans. Off. What's the bet? Oh, Teen Titans. Sh- no, <laughs> yeah, ten dollars. The Teen Titans show will not survive. Really? I'll take that bet because Explain. the cast they have for that show is horrendous. Not I know. Actors. It's not that it's horrendous. Hawk it's missing Dove. two you fucking of have integral Hawk and characters Dove? of the Teen because, Titans. Because look, hear me out, Josh. Hear me out. <laughs> you mean you don't see? love Hawk I, and Dove? <laughs> no, I had the funniest reaction. Everybody could have stopped laughing. I was like. Yes, we're gonna get Wally West, and we're, we're gonna get like Kid Flash. We're gonna get Beast Boy, and then I did like a little funny things, like somebody whispering to my ear. I'm like, wait, we're not getting them. I go, who are we getting? And somebody goes, Hawk and Dove. I go, who the fuck wanted those two? Oh, like yeah. it's just, it's funny. Those no, two it's, characters it's are so unpopular. Idiocy. Their, shit, their, their that, comic lasted like five. Issues. I haven't and read anything written. about now, them since like now, the Blackest Night. Let me say book. this. Let me say this. Okay, um, you can take away Kid Flash, even though that still angers me. But fine, whatever. Make, maybe you can bring him in if you're going to connect Teen Titans and The Flash. Maybe you can bring him in later when that character is introduced on The Flash. Mm-hmm. But Beast Boy Expensive. and Cyborg Expensive. were the comedy relief of I'm Teen Titans. You take them out and you take out almost all the comedy. Well, to be fair, was... they've taken Cyborg out since the beginning of the new 52. Okay. He no longer has any of okay, the that's, connection. Okay, that's, that's fair. I'm going to defend it, all right? I'm a, there's this a reason should have why... just been Grayson, though. It should have just been about Dick Grayson yeah. after being Robin mm-hmm. and his his journey from leaving Batman to becoming, like, you know, being Nightwing and doing his own thing. That's what this show should have been about. Josh, I feel like that's what they're going to mainly focus on, like him, you know, being off you know, solo and stuff. But yeah. it's just... Yeah, you don't have Beast Boy. You don't have Cyborg, which, you know, Cyborg, I, I can get over because, you know, I, I they're trying to make him a big hitter with the Justice League. That's fine. Very but no Beast Boy, okay. okay, that's weird. Like, to some degree, that's weird considering, you know, how much they've pressed Beast Boy being on the Teen Titans Maybe he's um, from the animated and, like, show and now like, the comic. Oh, it could be because of um, budget problems. It's like, no. No, no Kid Watch Flash. The Flash. No, the Flash. no Kid Flash? Okay, I can kind of see no Kid Flash because the Flash TV show to some degree. But at the same time, why would you even bother making a Teen Titans show if you can't have the Teen Titans members people actually want to see? Exactly. Like it's Starfire, almost, almost okay. Like Starfire, okay, I, obviously I can get that. She's going to be romantically paired with Dick Grayson. Everyone knows that. Josh, Dick Grayson you, is kind of a horrible. mainstay. But it should have just back been. And, can you go back to the part where you said it should be about Grayson, please? It should be. Cause say it again? Because years ago, oh, years yes. ago, they were trying. They were thinking about what different type of shows to make before the Smallville. And Grayson came. Grayson was one of those like supposedly ideas that were pitched. It was like a Batman Shit. show. You could make a show about. Pitched. You could and make a then, show about the Tim Seeley Tom King run that's going on right now, and really it would be good, gold. Actually, yeah, like yeah, supposedly before Smallville, they pitched Batman, like a Batman show. Like basically, it was like Smallville, but with Batman and his journey. Basically, probably what Arrow is, is basically kind of to some degree. Oh, I would have loved to they see were, that. And they, and they were going to do it, but then they turned it down because they were going to reboot Batman. And then the it films. became Gotham. And then, and then they were like, okay, we can do a Grayson show, like one about like Robin, like Dick Grayson as Nightwing. And then they shot that down also because, you know, they make the this Batman movie Grayson's franchise. Is what they were pitching. And then they eventually got to Smallville. And they decided to do Smallville. But I'm just like, from the sounding of this show, it would just be so good if it was just – they could just call it Grayson too, but you know, or Nightwing, whatever. But it'd just be so good going off of him leaving Batman, becoming his own man. It would just, ah, oh, it would just be so good. 
Okay. And the budget that, that wouldn't even have to be nearly as much as it's going to be with, you know, all these other Teen Titans members. Yeah. Okay. So I agree. Everything, Josh, everything you were talking about, the great show. You know show. I do. I'm master hybrid. Okay. <laughs> but one thing I have to defend is like, you know, I really thought about after I made like my reaction video of the, the cast, it makes sense for them not to add Cyborg, Kid Flash, and Beast Boy. Here's why. Cyborg, because like you said, they're going to you know use them for the movie Cinematic Universe. You know, that's what they want. Yada, yada. Kid Flash, they're probably going to bring them, but they don't want to use them because they don't want people to get confused from the Flash TV show. And they want to see if people are going to enjoy the show before they throw in Kid Flash, if anything else. Yeah. yeah. And if anything, Kid Flash is going to get introduced first in the Flash TV show before Almost it ends certainly. up. Okay. Oh, definitely. So the final one is Beast Boy. Now, I really thought about it, but you, if you think about it, uh, all those transformations of tra- like you know turning into different animals, you know how much money and like production that's gonna cost like crazy. So this is just I a pilot. Play Beast Boy. I know you look like Beast Boy. Like you know, everybody, <laughs> oh, hashtag God. Josh Josh for Beast Boy. Let's just paint him green. He was paint so quick to say you look like Beast Boy. So so, but like you gotta understand, it's gonna cost a lot of money, and you know it's a pilot, and usually pilots are mm. on low budget, so they can't really you know. I- I'm assuming that they're gonna save them later on if anything yeah, but the else. Idea is- and Arrow and Flash do this all the time, is to save their budget. They mm-hmm. don't do anything big budget-wise except for very key episodes, you know? And or film... either that or they shoot at night. So yeah, that... they shoot at night because there's... Everything yeah. in shadows. Has anyone... Not in shadows. Has anyone else gotten a feeling, though, that, like, Arrow Season 2 took so much budget money that Arrow Season 3... That's why Arrow Season 3 has been, like, super, like, really playing close to the chest with special effects. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pinch them yeah. pennies. Gotta pinch them hard. I feel but even like, then, like, Arrow is never really a special effects heavy show. Yeah. But I no, feel it's like more or less like the budget would come from pyrotechnics and things like that. Yeah. But I, I feel do like believe... between season two and also having the Flash, I feel like a good chunk of what Arrow season three's budget was going to be went to the Flash. Now. And then, oh, like, oh, I, I just don't have a question. Ooh, Go what's ahead. up? Ooh, okay. Joel. Yes. Okay. I know, like, uh, Armin calls you like the master reacher at things at times. Oh, well, Joe master is master reacher. reacher. Armin's the master reacher. reacher. No, which one is the master? Joe is master reacher. I, I'm pretty good. I'm I'm a junior okay. reacher. But I'll okay, help you so out. we are we're close to hit the you know the whole flashpoint you know thing for Flash, right? Like it's it's, that way. It, it's getting there. Like you you could sense it. Like oh, it's it's about to happen. So do you think maybe the end of the season it's gonna collide with other TV shows like Constantine and maybe like. Goth- I don't think Gotham. Out of all of them, I don't think Gotham should well, be. If Constantine makes it, which it ain't looking well, too good. Supposedly, sadly. Constantine is going to get picked up by Sci-Fi. Yeah, and that's that's the rumor. That's the and rumor. now here's 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 a, a little um, a little pullback and not a reach. What if the Flashpoint paradox stuff happens, and while the Flash is running through time, he's in the uh, the Speed Force. You kind of see those dimensions mm-hmm. really quickly. Just as small little where strike, people watch like, Constantine. Like he he's running by. And he sees uh, little Bruce Wayne from Gotham, and then he's running by, and then he sees. Oh my God! Constantine. I would be so hyped. And he sees like uh, the ship from you know Superman, just like yeah. Oh exactly. my God! Now that's but a like reach. they do that, <laughs> and, that's it. and they never talk about it. That'd be badass. But like, what if they did that? Like the whole like, what if Constantine did like the Pandora's box, and at the same time, Flash is doing the Flashpoint, and that is what caused the whole multiverse of everything else. That would be cool. Be that is the best I'm doing right now. I, I, again, super cool. Don't see it happening. Too many networks, oh, yeah. too many moving parts, too many people you would have to get involved. But it doesn't make look. This is it's hard. almost too as many hard as uh, getting hey. Spider Man okay. to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You gotta yeah. know that like, When you guys happen. say, like, too many, too many <laughs> networks, why would WB give the rights to, like, other companies if they know they, they couldn't do that? You know what I mean? make some money. That's why. Well, well of course. Like, about about Marvel for though. years. If they did that, then both companies make more money. I don't see why they won't do it. You know, you gotta ask Greg Jay, Jay, let me let me explain something to you. We've been asking that same question about why Marvel did it for years. Mm-hmm. Like, why would they send it all to different companies? But sometimes things happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to get your books back into you know. Out, sometimes out into the there's black. this lady who runs your company named Amy Pascal and uh, leaks everything yeah. online, and then that's so how you get funny. your rights back. I'm so I'm actually really kind of disappointed she's the one that got fired because in all those emails, like she was actually a sympathetic character to me. Like she Except was. When you talk about Angelina Jolie, she's that was she's a sympathetic yeah. character. That, that was a so little they make a movie. No, no, no. Like, look, 
she was dealing with fucking Scott. Like in that Angelina Jolie thing, I was like, fucking Scott Rudin's the dick in that. Pascal was just like, I can't tell Angelina Jolie she's a talentless hack. I just can't do it. And Scott Rudin was like, you're going to do it. Oh, back to the Spider-Man just, thing. You're going to do all, it. <laughs> can we all just thank North Korea for a second? They're, oh, I said it. Let's no, thank you, Kim Jong-un. No, we got to thank Seth Guardians of Rogan Peace. and Jane Franco. Guardians of Peace. Who, whoever yeah, guys. I don't, guys, I don't care. Avengers. What's that guy's name? He's still a producer. Dave Skylark. No, Dave Skylark. Yes. <laughs> no, Joel said it. That guy. Abby Rod. They hate us because they hate us. They hate us because they hate us. <laughs> but do true. you guys feel like he's gonna get any ward in, into putting his own thing into it? He he hasn't said anything. Like again, that's, this that's is out here, and he hasn't said shit, which makes me think. I'm like, can, can someone check on Avi? I think Avi might be oh, dead. Oh, you know what? Actually, I heard about that. Legitimately, Avi Arad and um. Who's your Matt Tomac? Mm. Uh, they're, they're out. That's it. Oh, like, so they're executive they? producers. I heard, they're executive I heard. producers. Avi is but... not. He's not a. He's not completely out. He's still making money from it. He's still like an oh, yeah, honorary yeah, yeah. I mean, producer I mean, like, title in the sense that he has no say whatsoever in what. Yeah, Feige has Feige has apparently taken over Arad's slot. Thank the up. Lord Jesus, because yeah. the, the the only reason and everyone was campaigning for Miles My, Morales. But people, the only reason that never happened originally is because of Avi Arad. I don't know well, if my fans, you guys are Batman guys, but if you don't know, there's this guy named Avi Arad, and he was the producer for the old Spider-Man movies. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think it, it was in an interview, he went like, as long as I run the show, Peter Parker will always be Spider-Man. Mm. There were certain people that were happy about that. But, you know. And that's well, fine. Like, Peter Parker is the OG Spider-Man, but like... There comes a time where just try something new, you know? Well, Caboose, However, you... now it's being rebooted, so just keep Parker for a bit. And Hallelujah. Then... So he's done other movies, like you said. Uh, what has he done? He done some X-Men, right? And Fantastic yeah, he, Four. He, he basically did all the old Marvel stuff, which you know. And was... did you guys know that he's the one who invented Skip It? Mm -hmm. Really? You don't say. He... Oh, see, Joel's the only one I got because we're, we're, we're the old ones here. We're the older ones. I... <laughs> so if you guys Google Skip It, he made that... <laughs> invention for kids where it's wow. like a it's like a hula hoop for your ankle and you just, oh it's, yes it's basically yeah. like a ball oh and chain i that you remember that for. yeah have you arrived and invented that yeah look yes, it up i swear he did he's a toy, God, he was a toy man and a toy maker and that's how he got into all this superhero stuff from the toy side of things as long as avi arad well, is, 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 is producing spider-man movies skip it Will be the number one product. I'm surprised none of them were like. I'm surprised like the the toy wasn't in any of the Spider-Man movies or anything. I'm, sh I'm sure he tried, but yeah, I was calling Avi Arad the Toy Man. He basically is the Toy Man, more or less, the Superman That's villain. Crazy. When you read his autobiography, you know what's funny about that? Referring to him you know as the villain, that like Sony lost Avi Arad, all their but... rights to their toys. Mm. <laughs> like the only money that Sony was originally making from Spider-Man was the movies. So you know, I heard this rumor. Steamed him. I want to hear Josh's opinion because I, I just love like because Josh whenever like Josh whenever I ask you something you're just like, ah, all right here this is what I think about it I just love what okay you, what, here we go okay hey, for so, what for what what am I talking like, about take this with a grain of salt I read this like on Movie Pilot and this guy had like this whole oh, theory God. you've like, already screwed yourself I know but I just it sounded like I didn't find it I can't find, like I'm looking up right now I don't know if he did it because if people were giving him shit like he basically confirms that Idris Elba is going to be part of a DC character not Green oh, Lantern. No. He's going to be part of a villain, right? Um, and, so. and the villain what? is Vandal Savage. Nah. What? Interesting. <sighs> that he says that that's their main I'm saying no all over part on two. That. Okay. Okay. All right. So first off, that's racist. Because <laughs> just because they say people started off in Africa does not mean Vandal Savage has to be black. Wait, Vandal Savage, <laughs> is, is he black? Nice no, no, I was making, like, I was making a joke, but um, oh, okay, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't a see that man. That's his deal. Vandal Savage is literally a caveman. Who's Does it happen? Like, it's the world's caveman smartest times. caveman, though. Yeah. All right, continue. Um, I don't, I don't see Vandal Savage being played by Idris Elba. Elba, who you said the other from movie pilot? Yeah, some guy says he, he's a, he's a person that hires agents, right? And he said that the guy that well, hires agents, like, like, he, like you know, like actors. I mean, he hires actors to be. You know, you know, well, he's like a what do you call those people? Like a extras? 
acting or casting director? Yeah, like he's one of those. It says something like he's a, oh, I work for WB and now I'm switching different companies. So I'm going to let you know what I know from people that told me that are deep inside what's going on DC Cinematic Universe. So he had some other things to say, like, you know, uh, Dark Universe, they're going to get announced this San Diego Comic Con. And that the, the first, um, what do you call it, the first uh, Just League movie, it's going to be Brainiac. Then the now, second there, one. I think there's only there's only one big reason why there's no way this is true. That's why, I and think that's because if he were to ever speak up about this, mm-hmm. he would get sued by fifteen hundred different people. Mm. <laughs> See, that's why I. And then he and then he said that, he said that Dark Side is the main villain, but that's for Justice League Part Three, where he says uh, Justice League Dark. Uh, he said all these other like groups. Uh, what is that Hawk Girl Hawk Girls group? What do they call? Anagarians. Um, yeah, they come in. For part three, like a whole bunch of groups, like Justice League Dark, like Justice League. War. Yeah, they all come to take on Dark Side and the Apocalypse. It's, it's Infinity War? Okay. That's confirmed. what it sounds like. Explained. That's and then he said Vendor Savage is the second one where he takes control of Superman and it's pretty much about everybody against Superman. And it's it's like a big war. There is like, there is Okay, no so that's so, that's yeah, fake. CBS that's and then cool. later that's, Justice League versus Superman. That has to be fake. That's, that has to be that's, that's so fake. You have a higher chance of seeing me. On a unicorn, wearing Exo Man Wars armor, with Kim Kardashian wiping my ass. <laughs> All right, somebody's gonna make that right now. So just what you're right saying is, now, don't, I want to see so a fan heart of it. What you're saying is, Josh is don't leak those pictures I have of you on the unicorn. <laughs> and if it happens, armor. like I know it won't, but imagine if it did. I'll, I'll be the first person like to tweet like Josh. I'm like, so, you know what I mean? Kim uh, Kardashian, how's that huh? unicorn Kim Kardashian, feel, buddy? Huh? But who do you guys like really think who's going to be like the villains for like the Justice League like all that? It'll stuff. be Dark Side. It'll yeah, be Brainiac and Dark Side. I don't think I, Bra- I don't think I don't know. I, I, I could see Brainiac the first one, but I don't see Brainiac, Dark Side, Dark Side the first. and then the Anti Monitor. Oh god! Oh, but I don't CJ. think they would do that. No, Anti-Monitor I can't do yet. it. I think that they would save that for the third Justice League film. That's what I'm saying. I think Brainiac's the first one, then Dark Side will be the second one. Yeah, and then Anti Monitor the third. Yeah, yeah. So my my only problem with Anti Monitor is that you have to commit. And by yeah. commit, I mean like he has to be the end. Not small and by the good. end, like I mean like I want that to be the finale. Like that kind of has to be like hey, the finale of your universe. If there or... is anybody who's willing to do some destruction on the earth, it's Zack Snyder, buddy. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> like that's, this is like multiversal, universal. Like honestly, either you end your movies there after Anti Monitor, like he's the like he's literally the end. Either you do that, or you literally start totally fresh, like. You have a whole mm. new cast. You like, like, because you can't just beat the anti monitor and you know sing happily after that. Like that's <laughs> like he he eats he eats universes. He doesn't eat planets. He doesn't eat cities. He doesn't poop on the side He's of the street. Not some and get weird arrested. shit like Galactus. He goes yeah. from universe to universe and he eats them and he do kills you, them. And do you bring the other them. monitors though? Yeah. Well, you kind of have to because like, yeah. you'd be like, why is he the anti monitor? So, oh, do imagine if they set that up that? like where they. They like tease them, like like you know they're looking over like like different worlds and stuff. That Professor be... Professor Wells is Metron. And then the first. after credit scene has Spider Man drop in, and he's <laughs> there, like, "Wait a second, this is not <laughs> Marvel." Uh, okay, who's, so who's the Howard Duck that? version for DC. <laughs> the uh, the squirrel. Chimp. Yeah. So overall, oh yeah, Detective Chimp. Detective yeah, right. Chimp come by and go. Mm, it's all connected. Oh, I'd rather see Captain Carrot than Detective Chimp <laughs> yeah, at yeah, any yeah. time, dude. I really hope they get their series. Can we get dude. Obama pres? Can we get Obama Superman? So, so yeah. Overall, yeah. In terms of uh, in terms of news, we got we got Ryan Reynolds Deadpool stuff. It's mm-hmm. coming out a year from now. Well, yesterday because this yeah. is going to be up on Friday. A year uh, from so. this moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a year from now. Deadpool's coming out. We got to look at the the costume or a little prototype of it. Um, Box shared so, universe. Some some random news about Spider Man joining something. Oh yeah, nothing, nothing that's some Dude, care that's just a rumor. Something, that's though. never gonna happen. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's no way Spider Man is gonna be the Marvel universe. Make sure. I love we're all excited out on that now, and now we can just crack jokes like, oh, you know, it's some new thing <laughs> happening. Okay, know. we reached that point. Three uh, days ago, it was holy fucking shit. Yeah, oh my god! Like, like everything was freaking yeah. out. It's That's happening. What we get. That's I was literally sleeping. This show woke up all happy. Like, but um, but yeah. So I could say that in the the period of time that we've taken from episode three to episode four, mm-hmm. we have had the biggest news week. <laughs> yeah. ever. That confirms Illuminati brings news like it's ever. True. Like there is not there has not been a bigger news week than than San Diego Comic Con. So uh, uh, what was it? Twenty thirteen. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Where, where when they first announced Batman versus Superman, there has never been a bigger news announcement since. I don't think Star Wars. Comment below. Oh yeah, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, I guess Star Wars. But Star, Star Wars, Wars was, Batman versus Superman. But Star Wars was way before Batman versus Superman, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was way after. We oh, just got was it? Just recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I mean, like the announce, like then they, then they already make the deal, and they were like, yeah, we're gonna make Star Wars episode seven, eight, and nine. Didn't that so, happen? Caboose, I would be disappointed if in the comments I don't see people going like I was here or I was X location when Spider Man oh, already broke. started getting those on our channel, yeah. Oh my goodness. See for Where me, were you? For me, I, I was uh, actually getting out of a uh, a VIP Evolve launch event. Ooh. So we were all playing Evolve and then uh, we leave at like midnight. We're on our way home. I get into a car, it we're squished in the back. I pull up my phone and I'm like, I'm going to check Twitter with the battery that I have left on my phone. And all I see is, <laughs> Spider-Man is back! Spider-Man is back! And I'm yep. like, what is going yes. on? And I, I actually I go to the hashtag, I've got a, I Spider-Man, I click on it, and I jumped out of the car. So, I've got to come clean like regarding where I was. I was. I had just gotten home, and I was uh-huh. getting ready to like – I was just chilling. And somebody, I think I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, no way. And somebody texted me, and I was like, shit. So I went into instant, like, video-making mode. I was like, we got to break this fucking news. I was like, my goal was I've got to beat Armin to this. Uh, but, but you couldn't, and you know As soon why, as you, you hit Because he didn't edit that shit. You see Armin's thumbnail with his, with his arms out, and it says, Marvel did it. I was well, like, here's, the shit, though. here's the shit, though. I beat our mean to it because me and Matt had just finished the new episode of Blood Sweat Comics. Oh, yeah. And, we, and then you're like, this just happened right now. Like, what this the hell? literally just happened. We were shooting the shit. And I, I was, that. of course, Ma- Matt was talking to me and I was on Twitter because I always do that when Matt's talking to me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I found out to the thing there. I'm like, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt I'm, I'm on HitFlix. I, I think something happened. I, I think Spider Man. I, I think, yep, yep, it looks to be true. Wake everyone up. Wake up all the children. <laughs> Get into your town square. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. I think... But no, like the reason I feel bad is because Nick celebrating, like, then my we... messenger bro- exploded, and I was like, Marvel, Spider Man, film, return, <laughs> no, what? See, <laughs> see, the reason I feel bad is because Nick was actually supposed to like that was his coverage day, and he like I jumped on that shit. Like I just turned my like Facebook off. I went like off the grid until I finished mm-hmm. recording that, and then. <laughs> I came back on and he was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" <laughs> what about you, Jay? Where were you in? Uh, I in would. I just got up like the shower. I was, was ready. Like case. I was like, yeah, I was ready. Like laying down, just my own bit. My eyes are getting like I'm, I'm. I'm about to pass out, and all I see is like that Twitter no- notification, like like you know that tells you what's going on and shit. Like per- like somebody follows somebody or anything, and it just says Spider Man Marvel. I'm like, what the hell? And then I just opened my phone and Spider Man Back to Marvel, and I'm like. No, no, this, this is this is a hope. No, no, I don't believe it. And then I kept on scrolling. Everybody, even like my freaking aunt who like loves Spider Man, tweeted about it. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, like this is that's real. When you know it's real when you're yeah, that's oh, tweeted. Yeah. You know, that's it's really it's know. seriously this is the time to be a comic book fan. The amount exactly, of yeah. stuff that's going to happen in the next five years, not not ten years, yep. five years. The amount of movies. Things that are going to happen, things that are going to come alike. This year and next year is going to be... Oh, just... oh my goodness. This is the time to be a comic book fan. If you are not one yet, oh, yeah. that you're done. Let's be honest. <laughs> you're not in any mainstream, Marvel... any friend community group ever. Kevin Feige and all of them in the Marvel office were probably popping champagne at like midnight. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah! It was like New Year's <laughs> all over again. They're like, yeah! I remember they the day like the announcement. Was I was scrolling through my Twitter feed, and then I saw someone tweet. Did you like, see the Hugh Jackman interview when they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "What?" Like his face was like, "Oh, he's like, wait, was- I'm not invited." <laughs> Sam yeah. Raimi was probably popping champagne too. Like, I never had to see them again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck so. Uh, I remember. I remember seeing a tweet someone posted that night, like when I was scrolling through my Twitter feed, where it was just like, "Kevin Feige is getting laid tonight." Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So sure. Every night. Sure. And every night since. He yeah. went home to his wife and she was dressed up in like a Spider-Woman costume. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Welcome home. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. So like, okay, this changes the game, everything. Like for Spider-Man going to like the Marvel Cinematic. Yeah, do you think DC has a chance still or no? Oh, absolutely. They, they do. People are like, no, I've, I've, you know, I'm the DC guy. People send me all these like, oh, DC's done for it now. And I'm like, 
I'm not Listen, sure yet. The, no one the, has ever the done point for it. Is, you just got to adjust point your is, expectations. Yeah. The point is, above all else, DC is making history. And this is not like, whoa, but DC is making history before Marvel. With the Batman. Putting Batman and yeah. Superman in the, the same. Well, movie. see, the thing, the reason that well, DC is still afloat is that they, they have the world's two most popular characters. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's there, so, I mean, anytime you've got that, still got And there's Superman. And then and Spider-Man. Then maybe there is Spider-Man after. No, Spider-Man's in there. Trust me. He's in the top five superheroes of all. Oh, no. Oh, no, he is. Sure. Yeah. But whether or not he's in the top three is the question. Well, I think he's, Caboose, yeah, he's top three. He's number three. Yeah. I think. Caboose, yeah. we're about to make this like a 20 minute longer episode because I disagree with you. Oh my and God. saying that they're making history by putting they, Batman. No, but that's like that's. Le- I feel like that's what they're doing. They're, that's like saying doing McDonald's is making history before. by releasing a Big Mac. Like they oh, only good. they have the Big Mac, so it's not like anyone else had the chance of doing that yeah. particular yeah. thing. I mean, yeah, but that's, that's, that's true. But like in in the in the the sense in the actual sense of the word, the way that it would actually be seen as a term, so Batman done it Superman, yet. Dawn of Justice, that is making history. It just has to be a good movie. Honestly, that's yeah, no, it does absolutely. Make like, it or break it. Is that it actually? Which I feel like it's gonna be a good movie. Mm-hmm. I think it will. It may, it may not be the biggest popcorn flick, but I feel like in in regards to like a film, it will be good. If that makes okay. sense. So before, I don't want to talk about this topic too long, but I heard about it and I was actually really excited about it. Uh, I don't want to. Let's just let's just go over this really quick. Let's go for two hours, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> First, yeah, let's go over this. Let's go over this really quick. We're so the five hundred hours. Uh, movie websites are reporting that Avengers two is going to be two hours and forty minutes. I'm down. Oh, I am I'm so down. Happy for it. Take so my I'm money. Happy. I'm not going to drink anything. Ready. Though. I'm going to get right, myself so, like a catheter, and so I don't have go. to get up to go to the bathroom. That's <laughs> a smart. Idea. My movie theater has started selling alcohol now. So oh, I'm nice. ready. I, I'm it's, ready for this. I you can just imagine Josh. Oh, yeah. I survived Wolf Street Theaters. I can survive two hours and 40 minutes of awesomeness. If like, I can survive watching The Hobbit all the way for a marathon <laughs> and watching all the Lord of the Rings movies for a marathon, I can definitely survive watching The yeah. Avengers. You and got an iron like, ladder, you're Josh good. Whedon, the guy has a vision. If he wants it, to, no pun intended, but if he wants it to be Ooh. two hours and 40 minutes. You just gave me an idea, Caboose. Let the man let the man do what he wants to do. Wait, hold on. So how long was it before he started cutting shit then? I don't know. Like, oh, that's a good question. Yeah. What if Josh Whedon directs Spider Man? That would be cool. Oh, that, uh, oh my god. I don't, I I don't think it. I could Supposedly live. the Russo brothers are supposed to be producing it. Yeah. Since, I wish like, I, the email said that they were like fully up for doing it. Civil War, then they probably want to take that character somewhere. You, you know what you do? You mess with everyone's head, you get Raimi back to direct the oh, new Spider-Man. Oh, oh. That would be great, because Raimi wasn't a like Raimi had a passion for the character. He oh, and he did. got screwed over in that third one. He did, yeah. No, he wanted to do Vulture for the third one or something. And I, John I Malkovich. Like, yeah. And I feel like after how James Gunn did with Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel, unlike Sony, is much more lenient with just being like, hey, you have a vision, you have a very specific, you know, oh, thing in mind Marvel for doing like it, go ahead and do opposite it. Opposite of Sony. Like, literally, as long like, as James it can Gunn, fit into our world, go for it. Yeah, like, literally, James Gunn handed in his script to Marvel, and they were like, it's great, but it's not enough James Gunn. <laughs> or, hey, you know yeah. what? Uh, you couldn't get Edgar Wright for Ant-Man. Hey, Edgar Wright, you want to do Spider-Man? I oh, sure my do. Goodness. All right, then. Imagine? I hope again, Edgar Wright against Spider-Man would be uh, Simon Pegg. And, I hope uh, Edgar Wright Foster does. Um... <laughs> I hope he does I'd either be, uh, Flash yeah. or Shazam. I think he can yes, like, take that. Yes, that would be great. Oh, Flash so... would actually be perfect for him because he's all about the – the quick cuts and stuff. Mm-hmm. You guys don't probably know this, but when Avengers 2 comes out and it breaks box office records, that will be yeah. my fault. Uh-huh. Because yeah. when Avengers 1 came out, I took 11 girls to see it, like 11 different dates. There you go. <laughs> 11 different dates just to see more Avengers. Blair. <laughs> nah, baby, i never seen this movie before. Nah, I heard it was pretty good. Let's you no, you, you can ask CJ. I, was, I, I take people. Yes. Like, I, I, I took CJ to see Captain America, I like, mean, yeah. twice. It made me feel very special. We went out to was dinner it, first. Was he a cheap date? Did he buy you, How you dinner, did you get? All right, before we go on a two-hour talk I don't put about CJ and Josh's <laughs> love life, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's call it a night from there. The, mm-hmm. There's been some insanely good news that's happened throughout the week. The Deadpool news probably being the best of it all. Um, <laughs> I can't even... So it was straight face. So and just a bunch of silence from everyone. <laughs> Everyone's like, Caboose, are you on drugs? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's been an you. awesome week for for superhero movie news. And yeah. I mean, I can't wait to see what's gonna come to like in the next year and then the next four years following that. So 
I guess if anyone wants to do any plugs, now is the time. So subscribe to the Hybrid Network. Check out our website, hybridnetworkyt.com. It's actually it live up? now. It's yes. up. It's I actually up. just got it's it up. up. Hey, listen, everything, guys, everything for, for everyone's channels here and their Twitters, Facebooks, all that stuff is going to be in the description. So you can head there and there's just going to be sections like there'll be Hybrid Network and you'll see their channel, Twitter, Facebook, website. And then it'll be J-Roar and so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. just go to the description. You're going to see all that stuff. You can subscribe, follow, like, and all that great stuff. Yeah, if you guys are big fans of reaction uh, videos, I started to take upon that because I'm like, you know what? Everybody likes to see my reaction because I always say something stupid in it. So <laughs> if you guys like reaction videos to anything, come check me out. I have a mustache, and it is rocking. It actually, so I'm jealous of your stash, actually. Thank you. It's and beautiful. Confirmed and explained. Yeah, uh, <laughs> top five confirm explain theories. I was gonna like, Jake, with that make said, a reaction to your mustache. Stay hashtag confirmed. <laughs> all, all the words people love on the internet: confirmed, explained, top five, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 everything. No, yesterday I went to go out to eat uh, with my friends, and I'm not even kidding. Like four people like compliment on my mustache. There's one. There's one little kid goes. Did you see his mustache? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just started laughing. How much does he charge for a mustache ride, you think? And Amber goes, how do you grow it? I'm like, with patience. So you should totally date me because I, I have patience. <laughs> patience and testosterone. Yes, a lot of it. Yes, it, is, uh, it has been awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably like one of my favorite episodes of the Comic Book Illuminati yet. Go subscribe to Combo Cast. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Go yes, subscribe to Combo Cast as well. Like I said, all the stuff's going to be linked in the description and on the screen. You can click annotations. You're going to see everyone's uh, little YouTube icon, and then you can just click on it. It'll take you Check out the website. Check out the comicbookcast.com. Joe's been doing some amazing yeah, work been over there. Yeah, there's actually mm -hmm. some really good writing and some really good yeah. posts and articles and stuff yeah, on we, that we site. We have writers now. That blows me away. We have fun. Yeah, that is, that is crazy. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I can caboose XBL to the next level, you know, bring up the, uh, the sex BLs, and then um, yeah, it'll be a great time. So, with that said, is that Ultron? Hashtag confirm. I'm Ultron. XBL. Ultron. <laughs> Ultron. Ultron. Right at the end, you're Ultroning out. Right. You're Ultroning out. He reveals uh, himself. And everyone's it's the cliffhanger. Because I get made fun of for my outro. So, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> See you guys later. <laughs>